The Englander Institute is a translational hub where we use genomics and AI as a way to personalize medicine. We believe that medicine has always been personalized, but we can use technologies such as high throughput sequencing, such as imaging mesotometry, to get new insights into clinical samples that we can use to match patients to the right therapy. We use imaging mesotometry as a way to understand tissue at single cell resolution. We use mixed reality as a way to visualize very complex data sets to understand how genes interact with each other. Recently, we had a case of a leukemia patient where we used technologies to gain extremely deep understanding of a patient's disease and were able to find the right therapy for this one patient. We think the same technologies and the same approach can be used beyond cancer for all patients. Our research focuses on developing patient-specific derived uh, models that we call organoids. And we use them to study disease progression and to develop effective drug treatments. When people come visit the lab, uh, they get very excited when they can actually see the tumor cells growing in the dish inside the gel that gives them the support uh, to grow in 3D. You can imagine that from the tumor in the person, in the patient, to the dish, like it's, it's kind of hard to imagine how they grow. So when they come here and they look under the microscope, how, how they actually grow in small uh, 3D structures, that's really, that's really interesting. I am super excited about the future of the organoid technology um, because we, we will be able to, to make uh, very accurate models and inform uh, patient treatment in a very fast way. This gives you a chance to analyze the results and guide and help the, the physicians, the healthcare team, to determine the best medication specific to the patient. So it's not a common chemotherapy that you're going to apply, you are going to treat the patient with a specific drug that you know already that there is a, there, there's a high chance to treat because of ex vivo modeling, which is specific to the patient sample. So you know that it's gonna be helpful. You combine the data, genomic profiling, RNA-seq data, and the drug data. You have the database and you have a hope. You feel, you, you really feel it. With the, even though you don't see the patient, you feel it. Hyperion is like the imaging module of the CYTOF technology. So here we're able to like image the tissues and look at different levels of proteins or mRNA at the tissue level. So here we're like capturing the complete spatial context and to get a better understanding of the disease microenvironment. One person uh, microenvironment is like different from another person. So this gives us information why one person or person A is responding to a treatment, whereas another person is not. So with this spatial information, we are able to dig in deeper and understand the cause of, you know, like a particular disease. I built software solutions for the Englander Institute for Precision Medicine, combining tools such as artificial intelligence and spatial computing also known as extended reality, uh, that encompasses augmented reality, virtual reality, and mixed reality to deliver tailored treatment options for our patients, but also make new research discoveries. One of the biggest uh, challenges as uh, we uh, enter the era of big data is how we could uh, sift through that and convert data into knowledge and knowledge into action. So artificial intelligence converts data into knowledge in a very meaningful way. But there is this last mile, the mile where the clinician has to make a determination of what's the next line of therapy. And the combination of artificial intelligence to deliver that knowledge, the spatial computing that uh, visualizes that knowledge in an easy to digest format and uh, to notice these patterns allows the clinicians to select the best possible care. The healthcare metaverse is going to redefine how we do medicine and essentially is going to allow us to get into uh, domains that we never thought were possible before. The way we collaborate, the way we uh, practice medicine, the way we uh, teach future of medicine, but also the way we care for our patients. When people come at the Institute uh, to visit, uh, one of the things that excites them is how 
close that technology of the future that we often see in movies is. From uh, looking at the organoid research that we do to immersing themselves into this metaverse worlds in healthcare, uh, they get to experience what we get to do every day. I think what people should care is how we can uh, take care of their loved ones in ways that were not possible before. That's what should get them excited. We have lots of opportunities for young people with computational biology expertise, with cell biology expertise, with medical expertise to come here to the Institute and impact patient care. We are hiring, we are collaborating, and we are just getting started.